striving for that perfection, whether or not it exists, I'm searching for it. Jonathan, when are you at your best? Under pressure, because under pressure I make decisions quick and um, I size things up quickly. What about when you're at your worst? If I make a mistake, I, um, I'm very hard on myself. There's a difference between perfectionism and perfecting the craft. True perfectionism is driven by insecurity and a fear of failure. Whereas perfecting the craft is an achievement motivation, it's a satisfaction motivation, and it's about learning, curiosity, excellence, the pursuit of excellence, knowing that it's almost never attainable, but enjoying the process. Which side of that do you think you're... You know, striving for that perfection, whether or not it exists, um, I'm searching for it. How do I make decisions, you know, without looking for the faults in it, but being able to make the decision? In your words, looking for what's wrong, rather than looking for what's right, we tend to um, avoid and oppose. So the second part of it is to develop a new story, which is inaction is actually quite deadly. What you can do is start to institute some small habits that start to take you in the right direction. You may vacillate over some decisions, but you won't vacillate over all decisions. In your leadership, how do you think you go about empowering, delegating, trusting the next level? Is that something that you find easy or challenging? I find it challenging. You know, it goes back to looking for perfection. And so when I ask questions uh, of certain leadership, I get an answer that's really, um, they're guessing, as opposed to them saying, you know what, I don't know, let me get back to you. And that's something real important to me. And I think they feel if they don't have the answer, they're failing, failing themselves and failing me. If you really, you know, want to unleash what's possible in this organization. People need to talk a lot less about what makes you happy and start talking about what is the best possible decision we could make for the company given our purpose and our vision for success. And so the trick is to imbue that strong sense of connection and family and collegiality and community and caring for one another in pursuit of something that is bigger than anybody individually, including you. What's the legacy you are striving to leave as a leader over the next period of time in your organization? That I'm fair, that I'm forward thinking, and that I made a change in their lives and the lives of others. And that we are uh, leading uh, we're what other companies want to be like. They want to follow our footsteps and, and learn from us. A great legacy to leave. Thank you for a fantastic conversation. Peter, as always, thank you.